Hey everybody, Badalon here. I just want to give you a really quick rundown of how I've set up Project 64 so that I can use my GameCube controller and the Mayflash adapter to play Project 64. Now, I mean, you can set up buttons however you want, but I'm going to give you the basic rundown here. To start, you're going to go to Settings. And when you go to Settings, you're going to want to change some of the plugins. Um, you're going to want to set the... Direct 3D to this one here, Jabo's Direct 3D8 1.6.1. You type that into Google and download that. And you're going to want to get the Enrage Direct Input 8 V version 2.1. That's also another one there. Anyways, so you're going to want to use those. And then the hardest part, the most annoying part, is getting the controller to work. And I know a lot of people online have different solutions. But here's how I have mine. Basically, the N64 controller didn't have uh, the same kind of inputs a GameCube controller does. Like, you can do light shielding and things like that by pressing something down. Um, it was either on or off. It was a digital kind of thing. There was no, like, value other than on or off. So, there are no triggers. So it didn't, it didn't read that stuff. So anyways... I had to get kind of creative here. The C stick and the L and R buttons really get screwed up. And the reason why is when you go over to here, if you lightly press down on it, it gives you uh, X rotation minus. But if you press down really hard, it gives you X rotation plus. Basically, that's telling you the difference between the, the little click, the little sound you get by pressing all the way and the, the light hit sound when you just press it down but don't actually click the button in the L button or R button on the... GameCube controller, that doesn't work on this. You have to make it use the click button, and it's really lucky that they chose to do that. Anyways, so that's that. The C buttons, which drove me freaking nuts, um, it was a huge pain in the butt. But basically, um, you have to use this specific Enrage input plugin, or else it's just not going to work, at least based on what I was doing. Um, anyways, so you're going to use left, right, and down on the C-stick, and then for up, if you want to use it to jump, so that you can use the GameCube controller easily, I set it to Y, okay? That's what GamePad button 3 is on my May Flash, it's Y. And to set up the grab and all that stuff, because I'm used to Melee and Smash, you know, from Melee and on, um, I switched the L button the R button and the Z button, because Z button was shield, R button was grab, and L button was taunt. I just switched it so that the L, the R trigger is now, uh, what was it anyway? Was it that? Yeah, so I made R, Z, so R is now shield. Um, the L button was also that, I believe, and Z was set to R, and by doing things like that, uh, it allowed me to grab with Z, and it allowed me to um, switch those around. All right, so that's that. Anyways, um, with that in mind, you can then play, and you can do all the regular stuff. The only thing that changes is that I now have to um, use the Y button, but you can set up your controller differently for other games. Um, for example, I currently have more than one setup because smash buttons are a little weird compared to some other games because you want to constantly be using all the parts of the controller, basically. You don't know, move on and off of other parts. Um, another one that I have is just a, a generic GameCube controller one where I just set everything to normal, which looks more like, oh, there, I used the, a different plugin maker for that but all it, all it basically did was it changed the buttons back to default i just mapped remapped some of the buttons anyways if you set those up that way um everything should work just fine and you should be able to go through here the way that you can tell if this is set up right is you'll be able to use the uh the c stick to move down this menu and you'll be able to use the analog stick and to, ch to test and make sure the other c buttons are working just select a character, yeah, and you don't hit the back button. And then you can use the um, the C stick to change 
left, right, and down, but not up. Up won't go. You'll hit the Y button, and that works. At least based on the setup I just showed you. Anyways, that's how I've got this set up. You can set up the buttons however you want, but the really big thing is just making sure that you um, you switch up the plugins because some of the stuff doesn't display properly. Otherwise, you run into some very entertaining problems with like items that spawn and things like that. For example, bombs will look weird if you don't switch the video plugin. Oh man, I love having this set up. It's like L canceling now instead of Z canceling. Um, but yeah. You really want to make sure you have this specific plugin because at least with the Mayflash adapter, that was what did the trick for me. Um, and again, for the other ones, you want Direct 3D 8, which is 1.6.1 from Jabo, Jabo, whatever that is. He's the dude that made Project 64 and he's kind of awesome. But yeah, so those are the plugins you want to get. So just chuck those into Google. And to fix that, um, the way it's going to work is you are going to go to, um, you're going to go to the system files. So you're going to go to operating system for the plugins. This is so that you can load your plugins in. Um, it should be an x86, assuming you're using a modern, uh, operating system. And I'm using project 64 1.6. You can use 2.1. Um, if you'd like, and you can get the buttons to do what you want. Basically, if you've got a different controller and you can make it work, go with that. I'm using 1.6 and it works completely fine and I see no reason to switch to 2.1. So, that's whatever. Anyways, so you're going to go to the plugins area and you're just going to paste them in here. So you have direct input, I have the NRAGE input ones, and I have uh, JBO Direct 3D8. I think uh, Direct 3D8 actually came with Project 64 2.1. But yeah, you want to move those... Um, those look like drivers, DLLs. Anyways, you want to move those DLL files into the plugins folder. And then everything works fine. So I can, you know, play this like it's... I don't know, using a game controller. That's what I want. So anyways, that's my really quick guide. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I will respond back with the best answer I can give you. Again, I'm a tech guy, but I don't. this is literally my first day using Project 64, and I just spent the past hour and a half getting all this stuff set up. So hopefully, my hour and a half can help you. Uh, leave any comments or questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.